systems and banning the use of Xeno Warfare and mechs, both of which had been proven to be appallingly destructive during the conflict. The United Colonies official the United Colonies officially controls three star systems as per the terms of the Treaty of Narion. These systems are Alpha Centauri, Sol, and Wolf. You may be most familiar with the Sol system, as it is where we live on planet Earth. The most populous colony in the settled systems is also the capital of the UC. The city is New Atlantis, and it is on the planet Jemison within the Alpha Centauri system. For government, the United Colonies is a centralized republic which is governed by MAST, the Military Scientific Administrative Triumvirate. MAST is led by the president of the colonies. During the course of the events of Starfield, the current sitting president is Alexandra Abeo. An interesting fact about the UC is that birthright citizenship does not exist. Citizenship must be earned through service to the state. Citizens enjoy several benefits, including price controls and the exclusive right to purchase property in New Atlantis. Now we did talk a bit about how the United Colonies is a republic and there are different divisions of the United Colonies government. So the first is MAST, that is the governing body of the United Colonies. Assisting MAST is Aegis, the primary intelligence agency of the United Colonies. And then there are two divisions of the Navy. The UC Navy is the Space Force of the United Colonies Military. One of these forces is the UC Vanguard, the civilian volunteer arm of the UC Navy. There's also UC SysDef, a branch of the UC Navy dedicated to combating piracy. Additionally, the United Colonies military has a division of Marines. Those are the ground forces of the United Colonies military. This includes the now defunct Red Devils branch of the military, which you do encounter during the storyline of the UC Vanguard. Finally, the last official representation that UC has in its cities and systems is UC Security. UC Security is the police force of the United Colonies responsible for keeping peace and enforcing the laws across the UC. The second system of government to come out of the remnants of Earth was the Free Star Collective. It is a libertarian confederation of colonies who are dedicated to respecting personal freedoms and individuality. The Free Star Collective is governed by a council of governors. The collective was formed by an alliance of Cheyenne and Valai in 2189. It has been involved in two major wars with the United Colonies. The first was the Narion War from 2196 to 2216. This ended 
government outside of their own cities. Finally, we have House Perun. House Perun is the third interstellar government to have formed in the settled systems. We know much more about House Perun since the release of the Shattered Space DLC. House Perun was founded by the passengers of a colony ship called the Archimedes. This ship departed New Atlantis and disappeared in the year 2190. During the colony ship's voyage, one of the passengers, Jinan Varun, claimed to have communed with a celestial being known as the Great Serpent during a craft jump. He was told to prepare for the eventual encircling or shrouding of the universe by the Great Serpent. Jinan Varun led his followers to the moon of Varun Kai, where they settled in caves before founding their capital city of Dasra. In the year 2230, House Varun re-emerged to the rest of the settled systems, arriving in the Folai system in a modified version of their ship, the Archimedes, now called the Morning. This revealed House Varun to be comprised of a fully formed government and culture, with Jinan serving as its leader and prophet. In 2240, following ten years of diplomatic efforts and a decade of illicit trade, House Varun abandoned their previous facade and adopted a much more aggressive stance toward outsiders, branding them as heretics deserving of annihilation. This conflict was known as the Serpent's Crusade, and it persisted for 23 years, leading to the deaths of thousands among the Free Star, UC, and independent settlers. During this campaign, House Varun also obliterated several key military installations, including the Den in the United Colonies Wolf System. Jinan died in 2263, putting an end to the Serpent's Crusade. He was succeeded by his son, Jarek Varun, who sued for peace with the other factions. House Varun subsequently built an embassy in New Atlantis and attempted to rehabilitate its reputation among the settled systems of other people. But distrust remained. In 2311, after the colony war between the UC and Freestar was concluded with the Armistice, House Varun ratified the Armistice as a third neutral signatory and then withdrew to its home territory, starting a period of seclusion. House Varun operates as a theocratic oligarchy, prominently featuring a ruling body known as the High Council. This nation is structured with various ministries that oversee state affairs, including the Ministry of Commerce, the Ministry of Conjunction, indicating a blend of religious and civic governance. Political decisions are heavily influenced by spiritual doctrine, allowing the High Council to frame their actions as divinely sanctioned. Worship of the Great Serpent is deeply ingrained in all aspects of Varun culture. This devotion manifests in numerous ways, ranging from the intricate temple ceremonies to everyday acts of prayer. Adherents of the Great Serpent are often recognizable by their distinctive facial tattoos, dark garments, and have a reputation for being aloof and condescending toward those outside their community. While they project an image of unity and harmony to outsiders, the reality of their decision-making is far more complex. The name House Varun can be misleading, as it is merely one of several houses within their society. There are three existing minor houses, which make up the governance of House Varun. These are House Dulkef, House Kadik, and House Vethral. There is a fourth minor house, which is now defunct, called House Malin. This prior house is now better known as Varun Selit. The stability of House Varun relies on the support of these minor houses.
access to 